Hello everyone, my name is Betty Dubois and welcome to Butterfly Whispers Pick a Card Reading. If you like the reading, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the future videos. I hope that you enjoy today's reading. Hi everyone, time for another yes and no. Six questions, six cards. We will use some of the trusted poker deck. We will use some of the uh, things I've wrote, questions or not questions, um, just little little bits of information on the back of the cards that I've wrote for myself. So we're going to start with them. So starting straight up, we're going to turn over card number one, yes or no to your question. That would be a yes to start with. So let's just get more information on that. This is something about uh, balancing your finances, how much money to put where. It could also be a decision you're trying to make about a personal um, life-changing event. It could be a personal de decision about your finances, about buying that big house, buying that, that boat, that car. Um, it could even be where people are splitting money between two people. But yeah, that's a yes so far. Let's uh, see what else. Someone is watching you. Okay, so that's just a message. I know it's probably got nothing to do with yes and no, but someone is watching you sits with question number one. So um, your yes and no answer is yes. So what we're going to do now is put a couple of more cards, the uh, normal poker deck on here, just to get a little bit more information and confirm that it's a yes. So we're just confirming pile number one for everyone is a yes. Uh, let's see, three cards. Oh, okay, yeah, well, it's still a yes. We've got the seven of diamonds again. It's something to do with money. Now, because it's got someone is watching you, be careful with your money. Make sure that your handbag is closed if you've got money floating around in it. Make sure you don't leave credit cards laying around. Um, if you're going to an ATM to withdraw money, just make sure no one's standing too close behind you. It, it just looks like um, with someone watching you, I think they're watching what you're doing with money. And if you're doing the wrong thing with money, um, yeah, someone's really watching what you're doing with money. Uh, Relationship-wise, it's showing me going in a new direction. This is moving house, moving jobs, uh, moving groups of people, um, hanging around new people. There's something to do with night time in this answer as well. Um, so, yeah, there's some sort of communication going on. I do feel you're holding on to something from the past. But anyway, guys, that's a yes for question number one. I hope you wanted a yes. Question number two, let's get straight on with it. Yes or no for the people watching? Um, yes or no for question number two. Here we go. What's the answer? That so far is a no. It's upside down. Okay, and it says um, boys night out, girls night out. So that's sort of like spending time with all girls, spending time with all guys. Um, your question might have been... Was my girlfriend out with the girls the other night or was she, you know, like, was my girlfriend out with, with some other person? And the question is no, and it's showing it was all girls or it was all boys. So if that was your question, <laughs> was he really out with the boys? Yes, he was, according to that, because it's, uh, no, sorry. If your question was, was he out with another woman last night? The question answer is no, he was with the boys. Okay, so yeah, I'm just trying to put it in the context of why that would be no. So let's just get a little bit more information on that. I feel like there's something where you've been stuck inside, well, probably because of COVID. Um, yeah, you've been stuck inside here and uh, you're trying to see the light. You, you want to get out and about because these cards are opposite. This is like going out, having a good time with everyone. This is where you're stuck at home <laughs> and you don't want to be stuck at home. This is where you want to get out. Okay, so this is, it's still a no. We've got the no here. We've got irresponsible actions there. Um, we've got some sort of balancing act going with finances in this question as well. Uh, something to do with relationship. It's, it's showing a balanced relationship. It's showing a marriage, a partnership, a business partnership. Um, you've got news coming in on uh, question number two. So 
the yes and no, but there's going to be an answer for you coming via an email, a text message, something like that, something to confirm uh, what you need to know right now. So moving on to question number three. Um, yes or no for the people at home, yes or no, question number three. This is a no, it's upside down. This is matters of the heart this time. Let's just get a, um, a bit of information from these storytelling cards, I call them. What have I wrote on this one? Someone's needing your help. Now we had that um, on the last lots of the yes and no where it came out and it was a no and then it said someone needs your help. So you might be watching a couple of my videos here and um, asking the same question. But yeah, that's an emotional question there. Now let's just get some tarot. Oh, sorry, wrong cards. Let's get three of these. Getting a little bit tired here right now. Okay, yeah, definite no. We've got three blacks here. So it could be about forced changes going on. It could be about someone's irresponsible behaviour. You might have been asking, um, did such and such do blah, blah, blah? And this is a no. Um, there's a forced change sitting there. There's forced movement. So someone needs to change job or they need to change house or they need to talk to different people and it's just not happening. There's some sort of forced, slow-moving thing going on there. But that one's no. So question number three is a no. Question number four. Let's see what we get for you guys. Question number four. is <laughs> it's a yes but I'd have to say that's a no because it's a devil card so this is I'm going to take that as a no um, but if it's if it's in regards to asking something about someone being tempted to do the wrong thing or going the wrong place um, it would be a yes because it is upright so let's just get one of these cards with a bit of information on them what's it going to tell us are oh, they sticking together Smile, be happy, life's too short to be sad. So I feel like you might be going through some stress and you're tempted, you're tempted to do the wrong thing or say the wrong thing or get involved with the wrong person or people or situations. Um, okay, so let's just get a yes or a no out of these other cards. Yes or a no for question number four. No, this is a no. This is a straight out no. Like I said, I, because it's a devil card, I wanted to take that as a no because it's a negative card. We've got three negative cards here. We've got a third party situation. We've got, this can represent drugs, alcohol, medication. It can also represent internet, social media. It can represent someone's looking at you, um, which we had previously that someone's looking at you, watching you. Um, we've got a female energy here, so that your question might have involved a female that you're asking about. It's something to do with someone that's just not your friend anymore or someone that's not part of the family anymore. Um, it can be a sex card as well. So it's it's pretty devious, sneaky combination, um, number four. So I hope that's helped people. I hope that hasn't stressed people out. Uh, those cards are cards of stress as well. So don't be tempted to do the wrong thing, guys, if you ask something to do with that. Um, number five, yes or no? Yes or no, everyone? Let's have a look. It's upside down. It's a positive card, but it is upside down. So we're going to take that as a no so far. And it's telling you time to walk away. So... If this is a personal situation, this is a love type thing here. It's telling you it's time to walk walk away. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean time to walk away from an actual person. It could be a situation that you've got yourself involved in and it's just too stressful. And I think that's why the Queen of Cups is up on her head. Her emotions are running wild. And it's full moon outside, I believe. And um, it's playing havoc with my head. This is a yes. I've just pulled out three yeses. Okay, so being, as I said, this is a positive card even though it's upside down. So we've pretty much got four yeses. This is emotions. The past um, reading I just did where it was all black and we had a black three, 
This is a red free, so this is healthy communication, friends, friends and family all gathering together. Someone's out of sorts though, so you might have asked a question about will everybody be at the birthday party? Um, someone's not coming. Someone's, there's something not right there. Someone's not there, someone's not present. Um, but that's a yes. It's a happy yes. It's a lot of talk and chatter. I think these cards are nearly the same cards, aren't they? Seven, eight, and three. Seven, eight, and three. Okay. They were black. These are red. So, <laughs> so yeah, this is the opposite um, to the last question. You might have asked the same question twice, and you've got a yes, and then you've got a no. So that one was yes. Number five was yes. Okay, let's see what happens with this last card. Number six, yes or no for the people watching at home. What are we going to get? Let's flip it over, yes or no. That is a definite yes. This is about commitment. This is new beginnings. This is putting the ring on the finger. This is a very, very nice card. And our message is take action and don't wait. So if you're signing contracts or you're getting married or you want to propose or you want to take on that new job, it's telling you go for it. So hopefully these are three red cards like the last lot to give us a definite yes. I hate it when they turn it around and change <laughs> and they go opposite. But anyway, let's get three cards. Confirm our yes. Ah, definite yes. This is marriage commitment. This is tra family traditions. This is a family gathering. This is a friendship, but this is a commitment. So if you're asking a question about your relationship, will it deepen? Will it be okay? Um, this is definitely, yes, we have the loyal guy here, the one that's got your back. We've got lots of expression of love coming in. Um, and if you're proposing to your girlfriend, your boyfriend, um, you know, it doesn't matter which way it goes. Um, if you're proposing soon, it's telling you to not wait any longer to make this thing happen. Um, yeah, so that's a nice little ending there. But anyway, that's it. That's our yes and no. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.